Hey, how's it going? Welcome back, everybody. Got a bit of a late night video for you this time. We had some cold weather sweep into the area unexpectedly. And right now, here on the 3rd of November, we are at about the mid 30s Fahrenheit. So about 35 degrees Fahrenheit at around 10.30 p.m. So we're really close. We're getting down to those freezing temperatures, which can cause a frost when you get down to about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. You can have frost damage on your plants. And I've got some frost sensitive plants out here, so I'm gonna do something to deal with that real quick. But what I wanna share with you is this experiment here that I had going. What I've got is one of these little cold frame greenhouse. And what I did is I placed a couple of my seedling heat mats inside of here just dangling from the framework. So before I open this up, let's quickly just take a look at what we have going on in here. I've got a temperature probe dangling down into the center of this little greenhouse, and we're currently reading 51.3 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're a good 16 degrees above outside temperature with just two seedling heat mats dangling in this cold frame style greenhouse. Now I'm gonna open it up, so we're gonna lose some heat now. Got one heat mat on this side, and one over there. I just draped the cord over the framework there. That's how I had it set up. Anyway, we got the temperature probe just dangling in there and you can feel the heat in here real nice we'll close this back up and there's some velcro here in the corners as well and what I like about this model of greenhouse is it has that extra flap of plastic so you can either bury that in the ground or you can use what I've done here something heavy like bricks to keep it all pinned down that really just helps to keep any of the cold air from flowing underneath your greenhouse, which can also turn it into a parachute and you'll have takeoff. So just a few bricks around the edge there works well. And I just have this moving blanket over the top. These blankets are great in and around the garden, around the homestead, multiple uses. This particular blanket's been outdoors for over a year and it looks brand new. It's been rained on, frosted on. So the results for this particular experiment are as follows. With this particular greenhouse and using this moving blanket, I was actually able to increase the ambient temperature by 15 degrees Fahrenheit with just two seedling heat mats in there, each running at 20 watts apiece, so a total of 40 watts. And I did plug this in to a kilowatt meter just to measure, make sure we're at the specified wattage and we are we're actually one watt shy at 39 watts being drawn from both of those seedling heat mats so what does that equate to cost wise for power consumption well i plugged it into a calculator and if i were to run this 12 hours each evening it's going to run me about seven cents a day to get that 15 degree fahrenheit increase pretty impressive now without the blanket I was able to get a stable reading with a 10 degree difference. So I'm able to get 10 degrees without having to come out here and put the blanket on and then take it off the next day at sunrise. You don't want to leave your blanket there blocking out photosynthesis. This has a lot of potential. You could definitely expand upon this or even shrink it down to fit your needs. So I hope you got something out of this little experiment here, how to heat a cold frame style greenhouse for literally pennies a day, seven cents a day to be exact. If you got something out of this video, I sure would appreciate if you smash that thumb button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. New uploads every single week, sometimes every day, and I'm always giving you updates on all the different things growing on around here. So with that, thanks for watching. Have yourself a good rest of the night. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.